already. And you said it was what room that you said? Her front apartment up here. Her front apartment. So nobody's in there now, but they came and they left. And where's she at now, this female? Huh? I'm not sure. I She works with the homeless uh, community. Uh, her name is Barbie Ann Austria. And you and she, you don't know. She, you said she works in a, with the homeless, so she doesn't work at the Hope Center or anything like that. No, but she's actually partnered up with the Hope Center. Partnered up. Okay. All right. Well, what we can do, basically, if she does come out over here on the property, I mean, we we'll see. Uh, we'll see if we can actually trespass her, but she would have to be here on the property to do that. Okay. Um, we would have to. Right now, we're we're trying to. I, I just talked to my supervisor in reference to it. Um, but I mean, we're, we're going to see what we can do because it, it is currently condemned this place, um, because of it not having any water, electricity, um, and all of that. I mean, there, sh there shouldn't really be anybody living here, but I understand your, your situation. Not there, there's still about 15, 20 families that are still here, to be honest with you. And th that's because they don't want to leave or has the Hope Center talked There's been a couple of them that they just don't want to leave. And there's some of them that they, they don't have the means to, I mean... You have very few hotels out here that will actually take animals. Almost everybody that's left has an animal of some sort. Uh, so that's the situation. And, I mean, there's no shelters. They're not going to give up their pets just because, you know, they have to move. Okay. I'm sorry, my, my dog.